Salutation Xenophobes, if you are a Stellaris lover such as myself or you've been looking for a reason to get back into Stellaris, you won't believe it because the Stellaris developers just released a new DLC or they released a trailer for a new DLC. Um, it's going to be releasing soon where you can basically play as your own Discord or Reddit mod um, as its own species which is incredibly exciting. All jokes aside, the Stellaris devs seem to be on a spiritual mission and jihad to add oid to every adjective, noun, adverb, what have you in the English uh, language. So it's going to be interesting to see what oid's DLC is next. I was honestly hoping for something along the lines of ancient relics. I saw a few comments kind of uh, pointing out that it has been a while, uh, and I agree, since we've had a story pack, but I have my fingers crossed as always with my cautious optimism for Stellaris's DLC cycle. Now, one thing I will say is that aside from all of my criticisms about the recent Stellaris development cycle, I do love the different uh, ways the art team really imagines these creatures. They've been releasing constant bangers, and aside from a few things like the Imperial ship designs, I think the art team is very, very talented. I love the different color palettes they kind of swap around with the species and how they kind of challenge uh, your interpretations and I guess expectations for what an industrial species looks like. Really excited to see how they kind of go further um, with species packs in the future and this looks really really exciting. Now I do have to critique the screenshots here. Uh, in the past the screenshots have not been a problem but it seems like everything aside from the very last screenshot is extremely oversaturated or taken at poor angles. So really unsure as to what the person who took these screenshots was up to. Maybe they had to rush them out late at night as some kind of part-time job, but I'm not too sure what is going on here. That said, we do have some new information regarding civics and traits and origins. Uh, first of all, we have two new origins, Overtuned for those hardcore min-maxers and Knights of the Toxic God. I think the first one is more interesting to me. It says, in the depths of your homeworld, rumors rumble of a true power buried under the toxic sludge. So I don't know if this is a Labo situation where there is a uh, sleeping evil at the core of the planet or something like that that you have to eventually defeat, but it is kind of giving me on the shoulders of giants vibes, which is another origin that is very story heavy. So I hope there's a lot of branching angles and paths you can take with Knights of the Toxic God uh, so that there are enough kind of decisions to add to the replayability of the game. Now, Overtuned is, as they say, Overtuned. I know people that love to do speedruns of the game are going to uh, froth at the mouth over this because it seems like as you can reduce your lifespan, maybe you want to run traits like Venerable that increase your lifespan, you can have more and more powerful bonuses. So I guess as you destroy the planet and kind of strip mine it and everything, you get some crazy resources at your disposal. So it sounds like similarly, Toxic Baths also involves kind of damaging your population. Um, for short-term benefits where you can infuse mutagenic sludge. I'm not sure if there's going to be a decision or facility centered around that. Again, this is kind of vague. I guess until they reveal more features at PDXCon, which I am like 99% certain they will do. Uh, they also have scavengers. You're going to get a bonus to harvesting debris. Relentless industrialists uh, that kind of revolve around survival of the fittest. So I'm kind of curious to see how regulations with the galactic community affects this and whether or not there are penalties to the civic if things go awry with your votes and whatnot. Now, Incubator focuses around population growth. Inorganic breath seems to focus around uh, increasing exotic gases and then noxious and exotic metabolism seem to have a bias towards consumer goods and an overall species opinion of you. So great to see there are new traits, new civics, new origins. It doesn't seem like they're trying to skimp us with this one. Uh, it will be costing $9.99 as far as I know. Yeah, $9.99 right there. So we're going to just see how far this goes. And then, of course, new ship sets, species portraits, and cityscape. So excited to see what this DLC brings. And I hope to see in the future after this, potentially, uh, some more DLCs like uh, Ancient Relics, one of my favorite content packs that focus on uh, expanding the world of Stellaris. But if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to help support the channel and show that you like this content. Uh, I am still trying to get back on YouTube and into the algorithm because it has been the longest time since I took a break and pause from YouTube. Uh, it's been like a month, so all the support, any support really I can get is much appreciated. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys and hope to see you guys later. All right, peace.